In a pivotal step toward redefining autonomous air power, April 2025 saw the Royal Australian Air Force, RAAF, push the boundaries of its MQ-28A Ghost Bat program during Exercise Carlsbad at RAAF Base Tyndall. This event marked the first time the Ghost Bat operated outside its traditional testing grounds, showcasing its capability to function in unfamiliar environments with real-world operational demands. Transported from the Australian International Air Show via AC-17A Globemaster III, the aircraft was airborne within a week of arrival, a testament to the program's maturity and its capacity for swift field deployment. The exercise wasn't just symbolic. It was a hard proof of concept that the Ghost Bat is ready for combat scenarios beyond controlled test environments. Developed through a partnership between Boeing Defence Australia and the RAAF, the Ghost Bat forms the core of Australia's Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, initiative. This unmanned platform, designed to operate both independently and in concert with manned fighters like the F-35A and Super Hornet, brings unprecedented flexibility to Australia's air warfare capabilities. Exercise Carlsbad rigorously tested the aircraft's performance under live operational pressures, assessing not just flight dynamics and system resilience, but also how the aircraft's software and payloads handled battlefield-relevant tasks. The Ghost Bat's ability to seamlessly integrate with base operations at Tyndall highlighted its potential for wide-scale deployment across diverse operational theaters. Beyond the flight performance, the event examined support logistics, software performance, and mission planning in a forward operating setting. The outcome was clear, the Ghost Bat is not just a prototype, it's a deployable, adaptable combat asset. The MQ-28S specifications reinforce its battlefield utility. With a wingspan of 7.3 meters, length of nearly 12 meters, and operational range exceeding 3,700 kilometers, the aircraft can take on multiple roles, from surveillance and electronic warfare to strike coordination. Its stealthy frame and modular payload bay give it the edge in contested zones, while its secure communications infrastructure allows for synchronized missions with both human pilots and other drones. At the heart of the Ghost Bat is a mission autonomy system that can analyze threats, make decisions, and execute complex maneuvers without human input. This AI-powered core, combined with a digital twin ecosystem for ongoing simulation and refinement, puts the platform at the leading edge of global unmanned systems. Since its initial development began in 2019 under Boeing's AirPower Teaming System initiative, the Ghost Bat has advanced rapidly. The aircraft's maiden flight in early 2021 kicked off a fast-tracked evolution enabled by digital design and iterative testing. In just four years, it has moved from concept to a viable frontline asset. What sets the Ghost Bat apart from legacy drones is its CCA role. Unlike remotely piloted aircraft, it's built to be a smart, autonomous wingman, flying ahead of crewed jets, absorbing risk, collecting data, and even engaging threats. Its presence enhances the effectiveness and survivability of traditional aircraft while opening new operational frontiers. The implications for the RAAF are profound. By integrating CCAs like the Ghost Bat, Australia can field a more flexible, lethal, and cost-effective force. These drones offer a way to expand air power without the overhead of building more manned squadrons, all while aligning with key allied strategies on manned-unmanned teaming, particularly those of the United States. As 2025 progresses, the Ghost Bat continues to undergo advanced testing both in live exercises and simulated environments. Exercise Carlsbad confirmed that it's no longer a project in development, it's an operational tool in the ROF's arsenal, capable of extending the reach and punch of Australian air power. With its modular build, artificial intelligence, and indigenous roots, the MQ-28A Ghost Bat represents more than just a technological milestone, it symbolizes a paradigm shift in how air combat will be fought in the decades ahead.